Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the more cool and failure criteria and we're going to be looking at effective stress. Uh, we're going to be looking at principal stresses once again. We're going to be talking about the deviator stress and then we're going to have to look at how we go from total to effect effective stress on a Mohr circle. So the failure criterion And this is for effective. You will normally be most of the time using effective and not total when it comes to this, these types of questions. So the formula is sigma one dash equals n subscript phi on sigma three dash plus two c dash square root of n sub subscript phi, where n sub subscript phi equals one plus sine phi dash on one minus sine phi dash. So, as you can see, just like the other formula where tau equaled um, c dash plus sigma n dash tan phi dash, we're relating the principal stresses, now we're relating them to the cohesion and the frictional angle. So it's, these equations are pretty much saying very similar things, where one is relating, this one's relating principal stresses now to friction angles and cohesion, whereas this one is relating the actual stress, the normal and shear stress at the plane of failure. They're different because, once again, the triaxial test gives us principal stresses, which is...